Psalms chapter 90 verse 11 who knoweth the power of thy anger even according to thy fear so is thy wrath Barakatai Yahweh Barakatai Yahweh Shah the Wadi Yahweh Shah forgive us the apostles and the elders of great millstone who deserve the honors rightfully so Shalom to you Akim pushing the word and sincerity and truth and being faith based and fighting for salvation Lord will this be edifying to the hopeful elect because only the hopeful elect is going to make it the 144,000 men and the one-third men women and children two-thirds of God's kids is going to be destroyed that's two-thirds of men women and children are going to die in famine race wars concentration camp right, guillotines and mainly the 200 missiles that's going to be shot upon America the soils of America does say the Lord does say the Bible All right, Lord when this be edifying build your fear up keep you in tune of what's to come All right okay we're gonna read this again Psalms 90 chapter 11 who knoweth the power of thy anger who knows the power of the Lord's anger of Yahweh Shemiah's anger he's angry right now who knows the men of the Lord that's why they out there um, persuading men to come back not not just any men Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American men. He's calling those, that's one nationality. That's one nation. The Negro is not a nation. The Hispanics is not a nation. And Native Americans is not a nation. All together, they are one nation. There's no so-called white man in there. There's no Africans. There's no Chinese. These are not part of God's children. Yes, the Lord is a racist. So who's gonna, who, who knoweth the power of thy anger? No one. Okay, because anything, the Lord, the Lord judges you in the spirit world, and the judgment plays out. He tells you what you're gonna go through when you come from the spirit world, and when you come on the planet Earth, then you play out your judgment. You get ran off by a car. That's the anger of the Lord. You can get shot in your face. That's the anger of the Lord. You can get kidnapped, chopped up into itty bitty pieces, and fed to somebody else. That's the anger of the Lord. Of Yahweh Yahweh Shah. That's anger. Even according to thy fear. You don't fear Yahweh Shemi Shah. Then, what's next? What do you got? You think you, you think it's love? See, the love, the word love means to do his commandments. That's love. All right? not to not to do what you want to do not to make it your way let's read that again who knoweth the power of thy anger not the two-thirds the hundred forty four thousand men and the one-third of men women and children they're going to learn the anger of the Lord through the men through the, the hundred forty four thousand men that the Lord is going to raise up to govern the earth and the galaxies because Little do you know, the white man, the so-called white man never made it to no damn moon. He ain't never, he ain't never, uh, he ain't never made past the Van Allen belt. The Van Allen belt was made of radiation. Ain't nobody been out there. That is not, them galaxies is not for him. Because if he go to another damn galaxy, he's going to trash it too. It's like he messed with the water. It's like he messed up the air here. It's like he messed up the food. But nobody, nobody want to blame nobody for this stuff. Sloppy. Even according to thy fear. <laughs> thy fear. The Lord said, um, what do you say? He said, the fear of the Lord is thy treasure. The fear of the Lord is thy, that's treasure. If you fear your house by Shem that's treasure. Even according to thy fear, 
so is thy wrath. Wrath? What do the word wrath mean? Huh? That don't sound good. Anger don't sound good. Wrath, fear. Those are all things you could those are all things that's jewels to the Lord. Those are those are gems and jewels to the Lord. So if you have those things to, to if you fear Yahweh Shem El Shah, you won't get you won't get his wrath. If you fear Yahweh Shem El Shah, you won't feel his anger. Alright? Let's get another let's get another delicious that says the same almost the same thing. Look, it says Psalms chapter 88, verse 16. Thy fears, thy fears wrath goeth over me. How did that happen? Remember, remember slavery? All right. Remember being persecuted by the Romans, fleeing to Africa? We're not from Africa. We fled out of Jerusalem, running from the prosecution of the Romans, which are the so-called white people. We was running from them for, for decades. The white man still chasing us down. He got us in his hands. We are, that's why we still slaves. We are still slaves to Yahweh. To, first and foremost, to Yahweh Shemel Shah put us in the hands of the white man. The so-called white man. And that's why we're in a situation. You know why? Because we broke the law of statute of commandments. Everybody wasn't given the law of statute of commandments. All right? Thy fear's wrath goeth over me. <laughs> We've been hung, lynched. The, those, the, the Lord deal with generations. So when you die, you come back. When you die, when you, when you, when you die, when your son die, he bring you back. It's a, it's a, it's a routine. It's a routine thing. Reincarnation. Re means to bring back. Carnation means into the flesh. So we live our life over and over again. Do you know we're gonna you know we're gonna defeat death? We're gonna live forever. Do you know that's to come? We ain't gonna never have to worry about being sick. We're gonna have to never we're gonna that's us. We that's gonna be our thing. Lord Yahweh Shemel Shah is gonna give that to us. We're gonna live forever. Our children are gonna never have to worry about being kidnapped or being again immunized um um what's that no vaccinations. We have to never worry about this stuff. The air is going to be clean. The water is going to be clean. We're going to be on other planets. And the rest of the nation is going to be servitude to us. Just like we was in slavery under all these nations, all the other nations, there's 18 different nations. And we're going to rule all 17 of them. But nobody sees these things. Oh, you're not supposed to be angry. Oh, the Lord is angry. He says he's angry with the wicked every day. So what what so I'm not supposed to be angry too? I walked out, I gotta go to work every goddamn day. The Lord said we never want to work again. We're gonna, we're gonna lay on our bed and cheat and praise the Lord. And we're gonna have slaves. Lots of slaves. And we're gonna beat their backs. Thy fierce wrath is coming over me. How? Because we, we, we look at we broke the laws, and that that fierce wrath is over us. I don't understand. So when I'm telling, I'm trying to, I'm trying to soothe my people. They don't want to be sued because they're looking to hug everybody else. So why we can't hug each other righteously? Why it can't this be about us? Why we gotta share? There ain't nobody sharing with us, and nobody else give us nothing. For thy fierce wrath has come over, come over me. Thy terror has cut me off. The terror of the Lord has cut me. The, being prosecuted by the Romans, they cut us off. Masada, you know what Masada happened in Masada? We had to eat our own kids in Masada. That wasn't white people. That was us, niggas. Niggas was eating belts, hats, dirt burgers, and our own kids. That's how we got cut off. Since we didn't, we didn't, we don't, we, since the Lord said, the, the Pontius Pilate said, I don't want to, I don't want to prosecute this man right here. He's an honest man. He said, who do you want, Bar Bar Barabbas or Yahweh Shah? They, they gave up Barabbas. Barabbas, then he was a piece of shit. They said, oh, give us Barabbas. 
We'll let his blood, we'll let Yahweh Shah blood be on us for generations. That's why our kids are getting gunned down. This is a curse upon us. That's why the Lord has come back to break the curse. He's our redeemer. For thy, for thy fierce wrath goeth over me. Thy terror have cut me off. That's why we're in our position now. Alright? There's no way back. There's no way around that. So here we go again. Psalms 88 verse 15. I am afflicted and ready to die for my youth. Niggas, I think always talking about how I'm ready to die. Remember Biggie Smalls? I'm ready to die. Well, he's dead now. He's in spirit world. And he's like, he, he on his knees right now. Him and Tupac. <laughs> Praising the Lord, Salakia. They speak in Hebrew now. Salakia, Yabashim, Al Shah. But they, but they, they, people don't want to live. When you, especially when you get into a mind state and and you are, you are, you're bringing awareness to people, number one, they don't want you to do that. Because everybody's looking for, uh, then if, that, if you do that, then the thing that you are part of is going to be deceased. So that means somebody got to lose. You know? That's serious business. Alright? Uh, and I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up I'm for you. you know why I can't die because I have to live and I have to push this truth so yeah I'm ready to die but I'm, a, I'm ready to die for what's right while I suffer while I suffer die terror <laughs> this, is, this is terrible you cooped up in a damn regular apartment. You can't even speak. If you do speak to somebody you know, they get offended. They don't like to hear it. They don't want to hear that. That's not what they want to hear. They want to hear love. So, something's wrong. That's that's another terror on the righteous. Because Jesus, they call him Jesus, right? Jesus didn't come preaching love. If you read the book, while I suffer thy terror, I am distracted. I you know I'm distracted by all this bull crap out here. Uh, there's more wicked stuff. Like I was telling my daughter, there's more evil people, there's more bad people than good people out here. There is. You know? Alright. So, <laughs> the distraction is, is all these wicked ass people. And when you become something more than what you was, they don't want that. That's not what they want. They want love. Well, love is to is to do the commandments. Well, and, and another one, another commandment is is to um love your your neighbor. Your neighbor is not the white man. Your neighbor is not the African man. Your neighbor is not the Chinese man. No. That's not what he meant by your neighbor is a Negro, Hispanic, and Native American. That's your neighbors. That's why they put us in the projects. It says Psalms chapter 73, verse 19. How are thou brought into desolation? As in a moment. This moment, this is this is a moment. This moment is almost up. Our our infliction is almost up. That's how we brought to this. How we brought to this desolation? Because we broke the Lord's statute and commandments. When we was in a, when we was in a, in a Mount Sinai with Moses, we was down there making, making um, fucking goats and shit. It was just Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The white man was not there. The Chinese man was not there. The African man was not there. The East Indian was not there. It was just niggas, specks, and Uncle Tomahawks that was there. Okay. How all got brought into desolation? Because we broke the Lord's statute of commandments. As in a moment. This moment is almost up. This is a moment. And they are utterly consumed with terror. We could The Lord is not it's, it's like it's, he's terrorizing us, but it's over. It's the terrorism the Lord the, the Lord's about to, that cup represents slavery. 
and we're going to pass the cup to the white man and the rest of the nations. They're going to drink that cup. And they're going to drink every drop of it. Okay? Because through the Spirit, you know, I had a different topic I was going to do, but since the Spirit, you know, it said, they said, um, to make your calling election sure, you got to you gotta do the work. The work is to feed the flock. No matter how, if they ain't going to like, the, if they don't like the message, they hate the messenger, and then they hate the father and the king. That's it. Because the father and the king are angry. They pissed off right now. They got to sit here. Because Yahweh, he got to sit there and live by his word. He said he gotta let he gotta let this um this so-called white man rule until all his bull crap is up to him, then he's gonna destroy him. He gotta let him do this. He who let it will let it. The he that who let it is Yahweh Bashimel Shah. He Yahweh Shah don't even know when he's coming back. Yahweh is 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 the only one that knows when he's gonna send back Yahweh Shah. Okay? Alright, uh I think I kind of went to the next level, 16 minutes. All right, let's get, we're going to bring it home with this one. All right, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. Okay? Knowing, therefore, the terror of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, we persuade men. Okay? Men. We persuade men because the Lord has built up 144,000 men. Okay? And then the one third. It's men, women, and children. Because we're going to need women. How are you going to repopulate the earth? Okay. The two-thirds of Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, two-thirds, Yahweh Bashim al is going to kill with the white man. He's going to destroy them. He's going to destroy them. Right here in the soils of America. So, when he pop, when, when Yahweh Shah said, when... When the, when the um desolation of um the desolation come, flee into the mountains. Don't go back for nothing. That's when we got prosecuted. It tells you that um General Vespasian and all these other um general um all the um the Roman generals they they took our land Jerusalem. That's what that's our land. They took that's why we niggas is over here in America. Niggas speaks when we when they brought the niggas here when they brought the niggas here they took the Puerto Ricans over to Spain. The Puerto Ricans was our brother. That's our brother. The Mexicans are our brother. The Dominicans is our brother. The Cubans is our brother. So if I'm crazy for this, this is not not the, don't, we all in the same situation. We all in the same boat. All right, Second Corinthians chapter five, verse eleven. No one this, no one therefore the terror of the Lord. We persuade men, but we are made manifest. Yes, we are. We made manifest in the flesh, and we bringing this out. But we are made manifest unto Yahweh Shimon Shah. And I trust also. Are made manifest in your conscience. That's what we're doing this for. We, we want to seal it. We want to seal this in your brain. So we want that one thought to hit your brain. And so when you don't get it, either you get it or you don't get it. But when you don't get it, and when it hits the fan, don't say nobody didn't warn you. Don't say you wasn't told. Don't say nobody never told me that. You know. So. Terror is coming, and we try to persuade men to come back to, it because, you know. Sometimes you get upset about it, but you're supposed to be upset. Uh, oppression, oppression makes a wise man mad. But a gift destroys the heart. That's why the majority of people out here, the two thirds, they got all these gifts, all these goodies they get from the, the system, which is the so-called white man system. They don't, they don't care about being angry. 
know, with that all praise and honor and glory goes to Yahweh Hashem El Shah. Call out Yahweh Hashem El Shah. Barakatah Yahweh. Barakatah Yahweh Shah. Uh, Salak Yahweh Hashem El Shah. The water Yahweh Hashem El Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akim, pushing the word and sincerely in truth and being faith based and fighting for salvation. Because there's nothing left in America. Shalom.